Thailand's Poor Thai Party has received a boost in its bid to form the country's next government after the United Thai Nation Party agreed to back its candidate for prime minister. Well, UTN is a party of outgoing prime minister Prayut chan -ocha. The move comes ahead of the next parliamentary round of voting for his successor, which is expected next Tuesday. Well, Thailand has entered its third month without a new leader or a new government since the general election. And uh, for the very latest, CNA Saksit Sasombat joins us live from the United Thai Nation headquarters in Bangkok. Uh, Saksid, the announcement was made after UTN called for this urgent press conference. Uh, what else uh, was being shared? It has been a plot that has been thickening all day here in Bangkok in the political scene uh, with the United Thai Nation Party, the party of the incumbent and outgoing Prime Minister Prayut chan who seized power in the military coup in 2014. Ironically enough, a party that was led by the Pertai uh, Party at that time, they have, and they have also then now announced that they are going to join hands with the Pertai Party, not only supporting the Prime Minister candidate, uh, former property magnate Sita Tawisin, in next week's Prime Minister vote in Parliament, but also joining them in the coalition. And this is uh, the numbers that the Pertai Party need to get over the line to get a simple majority in the lower house of Parliament. So this is uh, has been quite a turnaround when you consider the coalition talks that have been going for the past couple of weeks. Quite a turnaround, as you've said, uh, Saksid. But I guess the big question is, you know, uh, this deadlock in Thai politics has been going on uh, for weeks and months now. So will these developments finally put an end to that? It is very doubtful that this coalition, a grand coalition, if you will, between the parties uh, that were or that uh, was t telling themselves that were part of the pro-democracy movement and also parties of the outgoing uh, government that have been ruling for the past four years, leading by military men that were part of the previous military government of the military coup of 2014, whether this uh, link up is going to be a stable one whatsoever. But everybody, all the parties involved, they are saying now that the country needs to move on. There are problems that the people are facing. So that's why we need to come together, overcome divisions in order to work together and find solutions for the people. That's at least what they are saying now. However, they are also completely disregarding uh, the elections results that we had three months ago where the Progressive um, Reformers Move Forward Party won the most seats. But because of political maneuvers, they were locked out. They are now locked out of forming um, a government coalition that will now be on the opposition bench. And three months after the people of Thailand have voted for change, they have voted for the government, the previous government, to go out of government. Now these parties are now in the next government coalition as well. So that's the point is, three months after the elections that we had three months ago, the next coalition, government coalition will look very much the opposite of what the results suggest. Hmm. Many thanks uh, for those updates, Saksit Sa Sombat, speaking to us live from Bangkok.